The Art of Being Alone But Not Lonely A Story About Self-Love I am sure that all of us at some point in our life have experienced loneliness to some degree. At least I did some years ago. I thought that others could not understand me and even though I was surrounded all the time by family members and friends, I felt lonely. I felt like nobody cared about me or even loved me. Sounds familiar? Now to make things clear. Being lonely is not the same thing as being alone. By definition, loneliness is sadness caused because one has no friends or a company. But the truth is people experience loneliness even when they have friends or a company. You experience loneliness in your relationship or friendships too. Meanwhile, being alone means being on your own and trust me, there is nothing more fulfilling than that, but we will come to that later on. Nowadays, I live alone and never did I experience loneliness. Why? Let me show you. I realized that I felt lonely whenever I had expectations from other people and when these expectations were not fulfilled, boom, loneliness came into my life. I felt lonely because I was in the wrong environment and my friends could not really understand my thoughts and dreams and when they did not support me, boom, loneliness would knock on my door again. But the main reason why I felt lonely was that I did not love myself enough, that simple. I was waiting for others to give me the love I had to give to myself. I was waiting for others to appreciate me when I did not appreciate myself. I was waiting for others to support me when I did not support myself. And when they were not around, I felt lonely. The day I understood this, my life changed. I no longer waited for others to love me, appreciate me, or support me even though I respected the ones who did so. I learned to be my own supporter and to love myself so much, nobody could offer me greater love. And I am not talking about selfish or a narcissistic love that is toxic. I am talking about the self-love that we all deserve but forget to give to ourselves or that we do not know how to give to ourselves. Today. Today, people feel lonely more than ever and suffer from depression, which later gives them suicidal thoughts. And nowadays, people use likes and comments as a way to measure how much others care about them. Nowadays, people use more than one social media account so they can be busy with their friends or strangers all the time which makes them feel appreciated in a way. Nowadays people use their smartphones everywhere so they do not feel lonely because if you cannot text text your friends you can you can still talk with Siri, right? They will text for no reason. They will laugh for no real reason. They will start relationships just to feel less lonely or just because they like the idea of others loving them and they will try to hide their loneliness behind some emojis but let's be honest this is not the real solution we need to learn how to be alone and not feel lonely how do you do that you learn to love yourself first you need to explore life explore Explore yourselves, go through challenges, learn from mistakes, get out of your comfort zone, know your true potential, and feel comfortable in your own skin. The moment you love yourself, you become immune to loneliness. You are going to live, if lucky enough, for 90 years. How do you plan to do that if you do not enjoy every second of your own company? As I mentioned earlier, being alone is another story. The moment you learn how to live alone without feeling lonely, you will see how beautiful and amazing life can be. 
you will start to love your life, the way you handle things, the food you cook for yourself, the songs you sing in the shower, the way you dance while cleaning the house, the way you deal with your responsibilities and the relationships you create with the people around you. The moment you learn how to love yourself, the quality of your relationships will be highly improved you will stay with people for the right reasons and you will know what to tolerate and what not there will be days when you will be sick and alone at your home and you will take care of yourself what i want to say is is that you will not feel lonely you will not feel the sadness you think you will just because you are living alone <coughs> You will feel fulfilled, independent, and free. I believe everybody should learn how to live on their own before living with somebody else. Learn everything you can about yourself. Make friends that have similar goals and mindset. Never underestimate the importance of friendships in your life. Try new best, um, Try new habits. Take time to just breathe and reflect and most importantly enjoy life you see being alone is a different story from being lonely never confuse them be the master of your life and learn how to love yourself on a daily basis there is nothing sexier than that that's all i know